see you. If you don't recognize her face, then that means you need to check out the Muay Thai video I just did with her where she tries ASMR with her awesome Muay Thai equipment and it's pretty dang fun. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be here again. Yay! Thank you for this invitation. Of course, thank you for coming back and this time we're gonna learn some Finnish. Why, you ask? Because Miss Nina is from Finland. Yep, I'm from Scandinavia. Like, Finland is just in between Russia and Sweden. Very nice. And um, what part of Finland are you from? And tell us a little bit about it. Uh, so, there's approximately 5.5 million people in Finland. I'm living in East Finland. It's a five-hour train uh, drive from our capital Helsinki. And uh, yeah, East Finland is known for their forests. Like, we have a beautiful forest there. And uh, there it's known from our nature. Beautiful, pure nature. That's awesome. I have actually visited Finland once um, for a day in Helsinki. And so I didn't have much time there, but it was really pretty. I remember seeing a, a, a tower, a castle. Yeah. So <laughs> it was by a port area. So yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know that. <laughs> You've been in Finland. That's amazing. Yeah. So it's a really, really fun place. And yeah, I would love to learn some Finnish from you because obviously she's fluent. <laughs> And she's been teaching English for me, so I have to teach Finnish for her. That's true. I help her with her English, she helps me with my Finnish, and together we will be finished learning languages. Yeah, we can finish. We can finish each other's sentences. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so what are some first, like, greetings and things we should learn? in Finnish? Uh, well, one thing that you probably want to say is hi, it's nice to meet you and hi is, is quite super close to hi, English word, word, English word hi, so it's hey. 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 And nice to meet you is mukava tutustua. Mukava, mukava, tutustua, tutuswa. Hey, hey, mukava, tutustua, mukava, tutuswa. Yes, let's try again. Okay. Hey, 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 mukava. Sorry, no worries. <laughs> hey, hey, mukava, mukava, tutustua, tutu, tu, tutustua. Yes, I think you say. Perfectly. Oh. Hey, mukava tutustua. <laughs> so if you say it like in normal speed, it would be Hey, mukava tutustua. That's the normal speed. Yes. One more time. <laughs> hey, mukava tutustua. Hey, mukava tutustua. <laughs> okay, you could also say it another way. So it's hauska tutustua. Hauska tutustua. Yes. Hey, how's ka tutustua? How's ka tutustua? I love how you're saying it. <laughs> so now you say, now you know how to say hi. Perfect. And how do you say thank you? Kitos. Kitos. That was your natural. You know what, actually? I think I remember because I just did a video on how to say thank you in ah. different languages. And I remember Kitos from it for Finnish. Oh, that's nice. Well, you're fluent. It's amazing. Kitos. 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 Very nice. Okay, cool. I'm feeling Finnish already. So, what else are some good phrases to know? Uh, of course, like, I love you is a good phrase. So, um, I love you is... Mina rakastan sinua. Mina rakastan sinua. 
Perfect. So, Mina is I. Rakastan is to love. And then Sinua is you. I love the rule of the R. Rakastan. I'm just having trouble trying to do it in a quieter way. Yeah. Like I feel like I could very loudly roll my R's. But to yeah. do a quiet roll of the R's is the hard part. <laughs> uh, let's try it again together. Rakastan. 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 That's pretty good. It's pretty relaxing. <laughs> Mina. 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 Rakastan. Rakastan. Sinua. Sinua. I love you. Oh. Mina rakastan sinua. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. Um, okay, yeah. So now you can say hauska tutustua. Hey, hauska tutustua. Mina rakastan sinua. Totally. That's, a, that's an impressive like way to uh, introduce yourself to someone. <laughs> Show your emotions like right away. <laughs> or even express that you love them right away. Yes, it's a good way to pick up Finnish women. Just go to Finland and Absolutely. say, Hi, how are you? I love you. They won't be creeped out at all. <laughs> You're funny. I love that. <laughs> okay, so then when you've said hi, nice to meet you, I love you, then it's maybe good to say goodbye because the situation is a little bit awkward. So to say goodbye is nakemin. Nakemin. Very well. Nakemin. 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 Actually, now when I'm thinking about it, that's really formal way to say. I'm not saying nak. I'm not saying nakemin goodbye. Maybe so. I'm not thinking about what is the most used in a like a spoken language, kind of like a modern language in slang. Yeah, slang because. Uh, like, oh, I think I would say, see you soon. I think I would say, see you soon. Uh, yeah, f- especially with my friends. I don't say, nakemin, which is goodbye. It's too formal. Yeah. So let's say, see you soon, which is, nähdään pian. Okay, one more time, but slower. Nähdään pian. Nähdään pian. Yes, that's nice. Nada beyond. Nada beyond. Nada beyond. <laughs> Nada beyond. Nada beyond. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to say all these things? So, hi, nice to meet you. Hey, kiva tutustua. <laughs> oh, I can try the other one. Hey, hauska tutustua. Hey, how's it going? That one's a tongue twister. Hauska. Hauska. Tutustua. Tutustua. Perfect. That, that's the two part. That's hard. Tutustua. 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 That's a tongue twister for sure. Yeah, it's actually no one when I'm thinking about it. It's it's quite difficult. Tutustua. And you thought English was hard. English is hard, but okay, I agree. Finnish is hard. So, hauska tutustua. Hauska tutustua. Perfect. So, hey, hauska tutustua. Hey, hauska tutustua. Mina rakastan sinua. Mina rakastan sinua. Nähdään pian. Nähdään pian. You're so good. You're super good. If I'm visiting Finland and maybe I need to know where the restroom is. Oh. Maybe you could say that, hey, um, apology. Oh, thinking like if you're asking it, where's the toilet in Finland, you could say, hey, sorry, kind of like, sorry, because you distur- you're you like, like interrupting excuse someone. Me, like, excuse. like, exactly. Like, hey, excuse me. Where's the toilet? Is Andexi Misa on Vessa? Andexi Misa on 
Besa. Un besa. That's excuse yes. me. Excuse me, where is the toilet? Okay, that's the whole thing. Okay. Anteeksi. On missä tässä. on vessa? Missä on vessa? Yes. Okay. Uh, so maybe in a very, like a beautiful form of way is to ask where's the, like a women's room. That's what we maybe, some people say, where's the ladies room kind of. So that's nice ten huone. But I don't know if people use that too much, but it's nice ten huone. Nice ten huone. Yeah, and you know, some people are saying that they want to go to a place to powder powder their face, you know? Is it in English? Yeah, it's more of, uh, we don't really say that anymore. Yes. More of an older, old-fashioned, like, going to powder my nose. Yes, so it would be um, in Finnish if you want to say that, where's there room to powder my nose? So mm-hmm. you want to go to, you want to go to the ta- toilet? Yeah. Because you have to pee, but you don't want to say that. <laughs> uh, so you would say... Um, the very polite way. Yeah. Anteeksi, missä voin puuteroida nenäni? Anteeksi, missä voin puuteroida nenäni? Nenäni. Yeah, nenäni is nose. Nenäni. Puuteroida is powder. Puuteroida. 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 Yes. Okay. Anteeksi. Anteeksi. Missä voin? Missä voin? Puuteroida. Puuteroida. Nenäni. Nenäni. Okay. Anteeksi, missä voin puuteroida nenäni? Exactly like that. <laughs> okay, what are some good pickup lines? Like, to hit on someone with in Finnish. Ah, <laughs> mm, that's a hard question. Well, you could say that, where have you been all my life? Ooh, I yeah. like that. In Finnish, you would say, Missä olet ollut koko elämäni? Missä olet ollut? Missä olet ollut koko elämäni? Koko elämäni. Wait, one more time. Koko, koko elämäni. Koko, koko elämäni. Yeah, where have you been all my life? So, okay. elämäni is a life. I like that, I like that. Missä olet ollut koko elämäni? What about, um, like, you know how there are some fun ones in English, like, oh, did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Ah, <gasps> sattuiko kun putosit taivaalta? Is that that <laughs> yes. in Finnish? Yes. Sattuiko kun putosit taivaalta? Did it hurt when you I fell love. from the sky? I love that. So do you guys say that too? Um, I I think I've seen that in some like a Finnish sentence, like, uh, like from the reference you used. So mm-hmm. I think I've seen that somewhere. That's uh, cool. Do you want to try? Sure, let's do it nice and slow. <laughs> Satuiko? Satuika. Kun putosit? Kun putosit? Taivalta. Taivalta. Very well. Satuiko kun putosit taivalta? <laughs> I can I can only remember so much. <laughs> hey, let's do it this way. Tell me one word would you think it's difficult to pronounce in English for you, even you're fluent. Oh, a hard word. Probably rural. <laughs> rural. Yeah. What is it? You know, like R U R A L. Like it's oh, a, rural. Yeah, that one's kind of hard. I oh. have to. I have to check what is it in Finnish. I know the meaning, but <laughs> ma seutu, ma seutu. So if I translate that to English, I would say countryside, like mm-hmm. myself. But it's another word for rural. Mm-hmm. Okay, so ma seutu, ma seutu. I was living in ma seutu. Oh, you were in Finland. Oh, wow. It was ma seutu. I actually, I was living in a city where we had 2,000 people. How did you like living there? I loved the quietness. Like, <laughs> I love quiet. Oh, that would be perfect to film ASMR videos oh, there. Absolutely, oh. but all the birds, they're super loud. That's true, but at least it's, at least that's like an atmospheric thing. 
you know, like yeah. sometimes people might not mind hearing birds as long as it's Absolutely. not like really annoying. If it's like, oh, yeah. it's part of the You're right. Feeling. I was kind of choking because I love like the sound of birds. It's like, uh, it's very calming. It's beautiful. And like sound of fire or tr- or raining, all of those. I and, love the sound of rain. And I would love to record, um, this might sound, weird but i know you understand and you also i know you understand because you're listening this channel and watching this channel but the sound of the winter like there's actually a lot of sound like during the winter time that you don't even kind of imagine before you experience it like when it's super cold the trees are starting to make sounds so if you're walking to home late at night and it's kind of like minus 20 30 degrees i don't know how much that in in fahrenheit that's like, like in well that's really hot in Celsius. first 20 30 celsius minus oh minus 20. minus 20 minus 30 celsius and Whoa. so actually the trees are kind of like popping they're doing like popping sound and so if you're walking to your home late at night it's dark so you start to hear noises from the forest and it's a little bit scary actually you know this reminds me of a youtuber um she records in a completely remote area Mm. in like it's like this very winter zone and she makes videos where when the ice is when the water turns into ice the sounds that it makes Mm. and she makes like these whole songs with these sounds and stuff so i looked up the youtuber that I was thinking about, and her name is Jonna Jinton. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Well, it's a, she's Swedish, so. Oh, I she's the your neighbor, <laughs> like f- geographically, um, and so she makes these like songs with ice sounds and stuff. So, and I actually, you would like, I made a ASMR video in Canada where I'm stepping on snow oh, and crunching. So I think I like that. that. I miss that so. But yeah. Um, okay. A couple more things I wanted to ask you. Do you know any jokes in Finnish that we should learn? Hmm. No. I'm so sorry. I don't know any jokes in Finnish. That's okay. What about knock knock jokes? No. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. How do you say you're welcome in Finnish? Ah, you're welcome. Um, hmm. <laughs> you guys don't oh, say it's, you're welcome. Yeah, we say, but it's just like sometimes it's it's very hard to translate because maybe the uh, for example. In English, you say, please, like, can you give me that, uh, like, a cup of coffee, please, or something? But we don't say the please word. We kind of have the kindness in the sentence, kind of. We don't use the please, we don't say please. So that's why sometimes it's hard to, like, um, use, what, what was the word? Yeah, you could say please. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. We mm-hmm. say, uh... Maybe we say ole hyvä. Ole hyvä. It's like be kind, kind mm-hmm. of. So the meaning is a, so if I give you something, uh, like I think in English you say here you go or, um, or. Yeah, like if or, you're giving me something, you could say like. You well, yeah. like welcome, like. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. 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 Maybe I misunderstood. Like. Uh, so like if i say thank you how yeah. do you respond oh yeah it's we, okay i don't want to say this but we kind of say like uh e gesta. E gesta. and it's this is so weird but it means kind of like i can't take it like it's like oh yeah like because you're being polite you're yes like, no, it's no, like, no, like no worries kind of like no, yeah, worries. no worries we yeah. use it kind of like as no worries but the literal meaning is uh, it's like I can't take it, kind oh, of like 
okay. a guest. It's like I can't can't hold it, kind of. So that's why it was hard to find a right word because the the uh, translation the, is different. And yeah, the, exactly, and, and, and the, the meaning is different. Yeah, exactly. So the meaning we say that, but we like do it just differently. Yeah. So, but we mean the same thing, kind of. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. If I were to sneeze in America, you know, you say bless you. Mm. How would you say it in Finnish? Uh, we actually, I think we don't, we don't use that that much, I would say. But we have a saying for that. And it's for your health, like, yeah. or stay healthy. We yeah, say yeah. terveudeksi. One more time. Terveudeksi. Terveudeksi. So it's like, stay healthy. Yeah. And, like. Um, in Spanish, it's also for your health, like salud. Salud yeah. for, also is for your health. Okay, great. Yeah. Der Veodexi. Der Veodexi. Yes. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yay. Okay. I also just want to know, what do you really like about Finnish culture? And what do you think is the biggest difference about Finnish culture? Uh, so... Hmm. So Finnish Finnish people are like very honest, they say, and uh, we follow the law. So that was the biggest thing when I moved here. Is like people are actually not following the law. Like in like this is a small like example, but when you go to a park, there's a sign that no dogs allowed. But actually, there's a lot of dogs, and also you should keep your dog on lease. And people are not doing that. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. definitely not a problem for me. But uh, in Finland, if you have a sign, if you have a rule for something, people will follow it. It's like a Bible. They will follow it. Follow it. It's their book. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to yeah, no, totally. say that better. But anyways, so, uh, so we are following rules. And we love rules, I think. Because uh, everything is working better when... All the people are following the rules, That's and true. I would say it goes together with being honest, honest, yeah, yeah, honesty, kind of. So, yeah, I think that maybe that's the biggest thing. It's kind of like yeah. Japan and Germany; they're also very oh, yeah. big on their rules, yeah, and following them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, I had to change myself a little bit because I used to think that if someone is kind of betraying me any in any level i i kind of uh didn't trust in that person anymore but now i've learned that i also do mistakes i'm not a perfect person so um we can trust in people even they betray us sometimes and it's very important to have like um forgiveness forgiveness Mm -hmm. yeah and like and I, I don't mean that I was super mean. I wasn't mean, but okay. maybe it was like, you know, if someone betrays you, you might lose your trust oh, forever. I, don't, I completely understand. Yeah. yeah. Because you put them in this way yeah. and then when they change your mind, mm. it makes you sad, like disappointed. You get disappointed. Absolutely. So. But I think it's in Finnish culture also, like the trust is so important. And if you lose it, you might lose a friend, kind of, but I've learned that we all do mistakes and we have to have forgiveness, as you said. Yeah. Like, I want to have forgiveness. Like, like we all need that. We all need forgiveness. So, but yeah. Anyways, like Finnish people are, like, oh, I don't know how to explain. Uh, so I think just like basically Finnish people are very they have big uh, hearts, you know. Yes, very big hearts. So it's important to like not break their trust absolutely don't break yeah. our trust i like but I like we have that. forgiveness oh i like that yeah. i'd like the finnish people they sound <laughs> awesome oh. <laughs> also we have uh, like this thing uh called personal space so it's like yeah we are super close to each other right now yeah. uh, but it's important to have a personal space in finland so um i think we warm slowly kind of to new people and it's the same thing the trust kind of but uh, I think Finnish people love meeting new people but it's just like we're warming slowly yeah yeah very cool 
Thank you for sharing. Well, I think a really good way to end the video is to learn how to say goodbye in Finnish. Can I say just one thing about what I love about, uh, like, the USA? Yeah, of course. Like, I love that how uh, outgoing many people are. I love the small talk, the opportunity to talk with people even I don't know them. I know that I can go on the street and talk with a stranger because it's okay to do that. But in Finland, I would not do it. So I love how open-minded this culture is here in the USA. And that's like, we can learn a lot as Finnish people. We can learn from a lot from you. Uh -huh. So I wanted to thank you for doing that. Like, I love the small talk. It's a really nice way to get to know people. And we don't have small talk in Finland. Yeah. So I really appreciate you guys for that. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, it's really good yeah. to have insight and to like see the positives of both cultures. You know, there's no mm -hmm. perfect culture. Absolutely. Everyone has pros and cons. Yeah. So it's good like that you can see the pros mm -hmm. and, you know, along with those cons. Before we say goodbye in English, how do we say goodbye in Finnish? Actually, we can use the same word we learned in the beginning, which is hey. Oh. But when you say goodbye, you say hey, hey. Hey, hey. Or you can say a little bit formal way. It's nakemin. Nakemin. Hey, hey, nakemin. Hey, hey, nakemin. Perfect. I love it. Yay. Hey, hey, nakemin. Hey, hey, nakemin. Thank you for teaching us Finnish and a little taste of Finnish culture as well. Um, and definitely check out her YouTube channel. She's amazing. She's, She's Muay Thai amazing. fighter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> On the, she does Muay Thai fighting while also being clearly awesome at teaching Finnish. So <laughs> you make me feel like a queen. She's a queen. Yes, queen. She's a queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, is there anything else you want to share before we say goodbye? Hey, hey, Nakamin. <laughs> hey, hey, Nakamin. Thank you, everyone, for watching with us. Thank you for watching, and I'm so happy to be in here today. Yay. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Bye. Ciao for now, Bye. and flutters away. <laughs> Bye. Wait. How do you say thank you again? Kitos. 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 Thank you for watching. Kitos. Kitos.